So yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't have anything in my notes where we left off. Yeah, I don't either. I don't think so. I'll just check in this other book. Yeah, so I think we can just talk about, yeah, like they had to escape from Uh, what's the bad guy's name? Not Toranaga. Uh, the guy that's trying to get uh, the Shogun. Yeah, yeah, the bat. Not Toranaga. O Oshi. Yo now, uh, um, what's the name of the guy, a girl, the interpreter that she that he likes? Uh, Mariko. Okay. Now, you, you finished the book, didn't you? I did. Okay. So, now, refresh my mind. How did she die? I don't think she died. She was about to kill... Oh, I thought... She, I thought she was about to kill herself. Yeah, she was. And then... Didn't she, didn't she kill herself? Oh, man, I forget. I think she wanted to sacrifice. Uh, she realized she was going to have to sacrifice herself. Did she kill herself? I don't know. I don't know. See, she was a... Um, oh, okay. Uh, she could do it because she was a... Um, what? You know. Yeah, so... Um, she wanted to kill herself, but, mm -hmm. um, the one guy stopped her from doing it. Okay. Okay. And then... Oh, yeah, she did die, though, when there was an attack on the, uh, the castle. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was, uh, something... She, did she save him or she saved someone? She stepped in front of them. And then yeah. she took... Mm-hmm. There was yeah. an explosion. Mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. I forget who she saved, though. But yeah. that was, like, the last um, thing before... Uh, I think his name is Ishido, the bad guy. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Before he had to like surrender, or not surrender, but everybody saw that there was like this whole attack ordered by Ishido, and that toward uh -huh. and Mariko like saved the day pretty much, um, and uh -huh. had like a had a like uh -huh. samurai burial. I think too, and that was like a pretty big thing for Blackthorn too, because he was sad, but with the whole pyre. Yeah, yeah. They had a big, big mm -hmm. funeral for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And it didn't it didn't Blackstone? He was didn't he uh, put a, a a flame or torch on her pyre? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, I think he. But there was such a big age difference in them, wasn't there? Um, I want to say... The, I don't remember, because the time is weird. I just remember she was, like, married when she was, like, 15 or 16 or something. To And then she had a son, right, from him? Yeah, Buntaro. But Buntaro was, like, the really gruff guy who... Would only sort of like favor the father. Yeah, yeah, Iron Fist, I think. Yeah. But, yeah, he was, well, like, so hot-headed. and. What did you, um, you said when you did uh, the audio book, mm -hmm. uh, different things were brought out which you hadn't thought about, such as what? Yeah, um... I don't, I don't know exactly, um, but because I'm like riding my bike, I'm not able to like, um, 
oh, okay. write stuff okay, down. But, yeah. but I think just like little things I picked up on where like if I was skimming reading my book, I can't really skim in an audio book because I'm listening to all of it. Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. I just missed some of the uh, like minor details. Well, I'm sure I did too, and I forgot a lot of them because it's such a big book. Right, yeah. It and there's a... so many different characters in it. Yep, yep. And like, yeah. Yeah. Did you come to the conclusion that Blackstone was going to stay there until the next, um, uh, what, what, what ship was going to come in? Yeah. And he was going to build it and take it back to England or what? Yeah, I think that was what the conclusion was. Because uh, the girl was dead now, so he had really no tie. He really, he yeah. really loved her, didn't right. he? Yeah, he did. He didn't, that was the only reason he wanted to come back as well. Yeah. So maybe yeah. he would just, yeah, the plan was to go back to England and build a fleet, and then send out people, I think. Do you think that's what he did? Because in the beginning, uh, it, it sort of was like he was talking about that, and that he was back in England in the very beginning. Oh. Talking about his adventure. Oh. I don't know. I missed that, maybe. Yeah, well, I'm uh, I'm a little hazy in that too, and I I would love to see a uh, video, a movie, of this movie. Yeah, you know, I think there is a movie. Book. I think there is a movie, but it's an old one. Uh huh. And uh-huh. I I heard there might be remaking it. Hmm. Well, that would be interesting. Yeah. And then. Well, it's. Yeah. What did you think of the ending then? Well, uh, he was still in, he was still over there, right? Um, I think so, yeah. And, um, that other guy was, he was, he manipulated people, and he was going to be the Shogun, right? Right, right, I think that was the funny thing. It ended pretty quickly. Yes, yes, it did. Uh, comparing uh, 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 Blackstone and the girl, comparing them to uh, hawks that he had trained. Yeah, you know? I, I really like that analogy where he was just... Yeah. I mean, he was so smart, Toronaga. Yeah. That he would just yeah. use everybody and do make everybody do things that he wanted and he would never really do anything himself and like I remember yeah yeah, I I think that's what I picked up to like the hawk analogy throughout the whole thing he was Uh like looking at Omi and Yabu as hawks early on and he even says like ooh Omi is like a smart hawk um and he hates Yabu. Like, he knows that he hates Yabu. And he's like, when mm-hmm. should I When should I release him onto Yabu? Like, now? Or, like, I just need to, mm-hmm. tr- like, force his, like, direction. And, like, use it in that. So it was just, like, so cool, I think, that he it's, was so it's wise. It's interesting the way uh, the Shogun uh, manipulated all the people. Yep. Yep. And, um, now, is this a true story? Um, it is not. I remember I looked that up. It is not a true story. I think it's based on, based on like, maybe one historical um, Englishman that went over and became a samurai. But mm. I don't think it has anything, like, there's no okay uh, real history i think it was just there it was a story of like one sam english samurai mm. it's interesting how uh the book sort of infers that all the wealth that spain had 
and Portugal was due to this Far East trade. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, though, too, because they, uh, Mm -hmm. it was honestly the big ships, the ones that allowed for this trade of goods, Mm -hmm. uh, um, because the European countries relied on the money, but in Japan, they needed the linens and the silks from China to make the summers, like, bearable and the mosquito nets because they couldn't make those that uh-huh. that type of material from like what they could farm in Japan so they had to have those uh, the trade routes open uh-huh. it was sort of a, like a triangle mm-hmm. yeah I thought it was really interesting and also it was not even just the European countries, it was like Catholicism and Christianity that pioneered the... Yes, yes. Yes, I'm glad you brought that up because that um, that figured a lot into it, in the way different people wanted to do things. Way, yeah, way more than I would have thought. Because um, uh-huh. I remember there was one scene when, like, the the black ship, like the big trade ship, the captain was talking with like the friars, Friar Domingo or all these like Jesuit priests. And it's like, what should we do? Like, who should we support? You know? And it's like, how did they even have this much say? Like they shouldn't, it's a different country. And they're just religious leaders. And you know, like people, in religious orders, pro- like shouldn't be seeking like power and stuff like that. But you know, it's just it's what happens. Yeah, while well, they were doing it for their church, really. Exactly. You know. Exactly. So yeah. that's that's the way they can like justify it themselves too. And it's like, well, if we save, if it's based on the number of saved souls, we have to be on the side of the winning side. So they're trying to choose who the winning side is, but then uh-huh. they're they're influencing you know, politics that aren't their own, which was, was super interesting, I thought. It was. It was, it was, it was an interesting book. Um, yeah, you got some good thoughts out of that, Nico. Mm-hmm. And, I, I yeah. appreciate your, your input. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, one, uh, another, another thing is, uh, I remember just, like, seeing the, the words and dialogue of Blackthorn's transformation, where it was, like, He's like, these people are barbarians. Like, how could they not do this or whatever? And then he, it slowly, he's like more understanding and more open. And he realizes that yeah. it, it doesn't say it, but he realizes that maybe their style of living is so much better. And mm-hmm. uh, his style of living was really barbaric. Right. You know. Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like when he's telling Toranaga things, he's like, "Oh, I'm not gonna tell them like we don't bathe or something." Uh huh. And because it, it's like even like the poor the peasants bathe in Japan, where it's like in Europe it was like you only shower once a year maybe, but that's just telling on, like, why disease was so rampant and, like, why he only had, like, one son or, like, uh-huh. just everyone was dying. Um, uh-huh. And well, it, it did seem... The Black Plague came in there and, uh, you know, that really mm-hmm. decimated a lot of, uh, of, a lot of uh, cities and towns and stuff. Yep. In Europe. Yep. Yeah. And, like, how he hated the tea at the beginning, or the sake. He's like, this is not strong enough. And, like, this little, this fish is, like, like I can't, I'm, is nothing. It doesn't taste like anything. Or, like, the pickled veggies. It was just interesting to see, like, how he changed to like it yeah, more and how more. He, he grew accustomed to it. Right. And really uh, enjoyed it. I mean, mm-hmm. he enjoyed the... Uh, getting those, going to the saunas and doing all that, he, and getting bathed and getting massaged, yeah. and he, yep. 
he he really acclimated to their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And uh, And do you think down the road, if this would have continued, do you think down the road uh, the Shogun would have gotten rid of him, or do you think he would have used him as an advisor? Um, I think he would have used him as an advisor. Just, I I like Toranaga a lot as a character, because it seemed like he was very, um, compassionate. I think he was like, yeah, I don't believe in unnecessary death and stuff like that. Where, Uh, as a lot of the other, as a lot of the other samurai were like, like, I hope I die. Which was something they didn't even think about. Which was another, yeah, which is another... Um, interesting part of the book where it's just different ideas that, you know, like I've never been like thought about. And I think one of the cool parts was like, I mean, there's a ton of cool parts just cause it's so long, but um, I remember when Blackthorn was with the, like one of the other pilots and then the pi- the other pilot got like thrown overboard. And it was like towards the big beginning of the book and Blackthorn yeah, like, and he went out and saved him yeah he's like I'm gonna go save him because that's what a pilot's like duty or whatever not to die at sea and he's like I'm gonna get his body at least and then oh. Yabu um, is the one who's like he climbed down you know in, endangered uh-huh. his life and then they saw that the water was coming up and he was like I'm gonna, just gonna. I'm. This is it. I'm done. So then he like is just meditating there, and about to kill himself. And um, one of the like servants to get Yabu's attention like killed himself by just running off the cliff, because they were trying to throw rocks and stuff at him, and like uh-huh. yell at him. But he, he wasn't. He couldn't. They couldn't hear. Or he couldn't hear him anything because he was so like in the zone ready to for the end and then uh-huh. the guy said like bonsai screaming off the cliff and then it finally got his attention that like they had ropes or something or there was a cliff and then uh-huh. ended up saving um both of them but it's just like that's just insane that um it was just like the duty and honor above everything uh-huh. and that your life is not like even yours, like it's it's nothing. It's just um, yeah. Because you wanted to come back. They spoke about the afterlife a lot too. Yeah, they did. You know, coming back to be an honored person. Right, and it's like that's one way to do it, like a noble death. Yeah. Like that's honestly all they wanted—a a noble death. All right, and uh-huh. it's like oh. Um, sorry, I spoke out of turn. Let me kill myself right now. And then the guy's like, uh, no, I don't let you kill yourself. Uh But it's just, like, so different than the way, you know, we think. Uh And it's not like they think that over there still, maybe, but... um, Well, I think there is a lot of it. And, um, I think, uh... There's a lot of these ideas in, uh, is it the Hindu religion? I don't know. I think it was Buddhism. A Buddha. Yeah. Like Zen okay. Buddhism, yeah. Yeah. Wow. But, well, yeah. it was an interesting book. Uh, did you enjoy it? Um, yes, I did. I, I never, uh... Even though it was fiction, I never, um, I never realized that something like this could happen, you know? Yeah. Because I've, um, read so much about, you know, in the 1600s about England and the medieval times and France and, you know, all the revolutions and all that stuff. And, uh, this was happening supposedly around the same time right so um, I, I thought it was uh, it was a very thought provoking book mm-hmm. definitely and it was like the 
like Japan was so behind in in time, really. Like they didn't do any water. I mean, they had ships and stuff, but they didn't like want to leave the islands. They didn't believe in guns. They didn't, you know, they were just so accustomed to their way. And Toranaga being open to like the future and change is like what honestly gave him the advantage uh -huh. over everybody. Yeah, it, it just means that uh, as time goes, uh, you can't be too based in tradition because time is progress, right? Mm hmm. So, yeah, well, it was quite a book. Yeah, I think it was just a little too long. Like, it could have gotten broken up into a couple books. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. And and the fact that, um, you know, I would read it and I didn't have, you know, I could put it down or I didn't think, oh, well, I got to read up to chapter so-and-so, mm -hmm. you know. And then I kind of forgot about it and picked up another book or thought yeah. of something else, you know. So... And you had a lot in your plate, too, during this uh, book. Yeah. You had a lot. Are you still riding your bike? Um, not as much now. I'm kind of just focusing on bike or, uh, running. Okay. Because are you riding now, though, as you're talking to me? Oh, no, not right now. But it was just like when I was listening to the book, I wasn't able to like write things down because oh, okay, I was okay. I was biking. Yeah. Because I was wondering, I thought if he's riding his bike now, well, he doesn't sound out of breath at all. <laughs> no, not now. <laughs> so okay. Wow. Well, it. Um, yeah. It uh, was an interesting book. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I liked it. I don't think it's my favorite book, but it definitely, you're right, it it makes you think differently. Or just yeah. ask, like, oh, I've never thought this way before. Yeah, I never, I never thought that this could have been happening at the same time that this was happening. You know, you just think about England, you don't think about mm -hmm. the countries over there. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, so, hey, it's great. Yeah, so do you have, have you a... Have you thought about any other book? Um, that's actually funny you say. Um, I got a recommendation from one of my cousins, Jaden Montero. Uh-huh. And he really likes um, anime, like manga. It's kind of like cartoons or comic books. And I have never read them before, but he was telling yeah. he was telling me that these uh, comic books are starting to become more popular with like the elderly population, and hmm. and he gave me a recommendation. It's one on soccer. And one on soccer. Yeah. So like a, a comic book of just soccer. Yeah, it's called Blue Lock. I'm going to send you a link to it. Okay. I've never... Okay. Yeah, so this would be new for both of us. And I just think okay. you would... Okay, and how, where, where would I find something like that? Yeah, so there's some at Barnes & Noble I'm seeing right now. Um, and it's like the first volume, volume one or whatever. But I'll send... And what's it called again? B L U E. B L U E. And then lock. Blue. L O C K. And that's spelled. L O C K. L O C K. And it's sort of a comic book form. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. And well, I'll look it, for that. So it's okay. Blue Lock Volume 1. I'll send you okay, a link. Okay, volume one. And then the story is by M-U-N-E-Y. M-U-N-E-Y. U-K-I. U-K, is that one word? That's one word. And then that's okay. the first, that's the first part. And then the last name is K-A-N-E. 
S H I R O. Okay. Why well, I written this down? <laughs> I'll send you a link too, and if it's too hard, I can like just try to send it to your apartment or your house as well. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll check it. Um, I'm seeing them on at Barnes and Noble, but. It's like about soccer, okay. about soccer, yeah. and it's like a action soccer thing. So I, oh, he's no. he recommended it to me, and I think it looks interesting. So maybe it would be yeah, fun I'll, to try. I'll see what I can do. I'll, I'll check it out. Um, I think uh, Chuck is going to be home this week, and I think uh, I'm hoping that we can lock into a, a car. Since mine was totaled, you right. know. Right. Right. And I'm hoping I can get another. Uh, I don't need a new car, and I don't need all the uh, fancy whistle stops, you know. Mm-hmm. Just want to make sure it's going to be safe and reliable, and it has a backup camera, you know, something with a backup camera. Right. And so I don't need a big car. Just. You know, just to do errands around here, but uh, I hope he'll be able to help me getting a car this week. Yeah, I'm sure he will be able to. Pardon? I'm sure he will be able to help. Yeah, I think so. He's had a a lot of experience buying different cars. Right. So, uh, and, and I need his expertise because Grandpa always did that. I never got into any of the negotiations or anything, you know. I just wrote the check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, uh, I I will need his advice and expertise, and I'm sure he has some good pointers to give me. So. Right. So that's it. So uh, how's the weather out there? Um, The weather's pretty nice. It's a little smoky from some fires in uh, eastern Oregon, but the air quality isn't too bad. It just looks a little hazy. Have you been doing any climbing? Um, no, but I have a climb scheduled on Wednesday. I'm trying to meet up with some new friends. Okay. With Kayla and maybe her cousin. So yeah, that'll be fun. Good. Yep, just uh, yesterday I ran my first half marathon as a, wow. as training for the marathon, so it was like 13.3 miles. You ran that at one time? Yeah, we took breaks, but it took me about two hours total. Oh my word, you must be in good shape. Mm, I felt very bad after it, though. My legs are still sore right now. Yeah, are they? Uh, yeah, so that's uh, why I need to keep on doing it. Cause... Yeah, yeah. You just got to put your nose to it if you, you know, you want to stay in shape, yeah. Yeah, because... It's so easy to say, oh, well, I'll just forget about it for the next week or so. Mm-hmm. But that's bad, bad, yeah. Yeah, that would definitely not be good for my marathon because I felt re- very tired and my legs were like jello after the half. So I can't, I'd have to do that twice. I, I don't understand how I'm going to do it, but just got to keep training. Yeah, you'll have to build up for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and, and how are you and Kayla? Are you doing fine? Yeah, we're doing really well. Good. I was able to uh, make this, like, plant uh, stand for one of our windowsills. Our, one of our couches, like, covered the bottom of the windowsill. So if we put plants there, you wouldn't be able to see them. And then I designed, like, this stand, and we went to Lowe's, and I was able to cut some wood and screwed, screwed it together. So there's, like, this nice plan plant stand now, oh, which, is, which is cute. Oh, and now you can see it. Yeah, yeah. Behind the sofa. Right. 
Yeah, I can send hey. you. A, I'll send you a picture. Yeah, that sounds. Or I said, yeah, I didn't know you could do that stuff. I didn't realize you were that handy. Me neither. Yeah. This is my first time, so it was fun to like kind of do this project. And uh, Kayla's dad helped me a lot because he has like a saw and a nice screwdriver and stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, just kind of doing odd stuff around the apartment. Like I started to hang up picture frames. We have a big mirror. We got a couple like lamps and we're about to go pick up a cabinet that we got on Facebook Marketplace. And I had to hang up some hooks for our bags and stuff. So just like a bunch of little things, but it's the place is... Sure, it, it makes it your place. Exactly. So it's starting to feel yeah. a lot more like home. Oh. Yeah, oh, well, that's good. That's good. And, and, it's, and it's good you're staying busy. You're not just, you know, sitting around. Yeah, no, I'm staying busy for sure with uh, applying yeah. for jobs and, um, you know, looking at my old video footage and making new videos for all the stuff that I took videos of in my last week of Seattle I, I took a lot yeah. there was like my going away party um, I have like all of this footage from like a daily like what my day looked like in Seattle like oh. I took the GoPro on my bike um, and like recorded my whole bike ride commute down to the ferry and then the ferry ride over and then the ferry back to the climbing gym and then back up to my apartment. So like a bunch of little things. Um, also yeah. the, the Seattle to Portland bike ride. I have a ton of footage from that. I need to go through. Well, that, that's good because, uh, in the years to come, 10, 15 years, you'll look back on that and you'll say, Oh, that's right. I didn't, I didn't really remember that. Yeah. You know? And then you'll have it. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's right. what it's for. Yeah. Well, that's very good. Well, uh, this has been a very interesting conversation, and I'll um, look for this book, but I don't know if I'll okay. get too much looking this week because yeah. I'll be really concentrating on the car. Yeah, you know? no, focus on that, and I, I will not get it soon yet either but just keep me posted and if you can't find it i will just send it to your apart to your house okay all righty all righty well now you take care nico you too um he, uh something's gonna come up some <laughs> uh, some offer that you just will not be able to refuse <laughs> yeah hopefully yep i'm just gonna slowly keep doing what i'm doing uh-huh positive yep and i'll be praying for you and you take care all right thank you grandma i love you i love you too bye bye, bye.